very fine good evening dear learners i am dr satish vishwambal lakde from walchand institute of technology sholapur and i welcome you all for this session on personal interview frequently asked questions faq part 2 in part 1 we have discussed certain frequently asked questions and now in part 2 we will be discussing the remaining frequently asked questions learning outcome at the end of this session students will understand how to respond to frequently asked questions in personal interview why do you want to join our company or organization so this is one more frequently asked question in a personal interview it is very important and so you need to do your homework here so it's important that you research the company and the industry in which the company operates for this you can take help of the company website then talk about company's work culture so you should know company's work culture this information you can get through the website or through your uh, uh, senior friends who are working in this company being a part of the company will add value to your career so you need to highlight that being a part of the company will add value to your career through this answer and you also need to relate your skills with the company requirement and you need to talk about company's uh, quality training and relate your career goals with the company now pause this video for some time and answer this question which is your dream company and why you want to join it so pause this video for some time and write the answer in your course journal and then resume the video welcome back so the question why do you want to join our company or organization now here's the model answer now we have to take a company into consideration to answer this particular question so here for this particular question i have taken infosys so the answer is like this i wish to join infosys because the work culture of infosys is excellent the punchline of infosys powered by intellect and driven by and driven by values tell us about its value based culture infosys is a global leader in next generation digital services and consulting Every infosian is the navigator of their client's digital transformation. It has maximizing shareholder value with good corporate governance. 11.31 billion US dollars revenue. 1 lakh 68000 plus employees trained in design thinking. 60000 employees trained in new technology areas make Infosys my dream company to work for. so this could be a possible answer for this particular question because as i have discussed uh, i have included the main points like uh, the company's revenue and its uh, work culture and the technology so this is a guideline you can of course uh, make some changes according to your requirement and according to the company in question why should we hire you now this is one more important frequently asked question in a personal interview to answer this question you need to analyze the job profile you also need to correlate your skills with the job requirements if possible you need to add your strengths and you need to answer this question with a very positive attitude and you need to also talk about your project summer training which is connected to this particular job profile now here's the moral answer why should we hire you so the answer is i do believe that some other candidates are also eligible for this job but what differentiates me from other candidates is my passion for excellence i sincerely believe that my skills match the job requirement like other candidates i have the ability to do this job but beyond that i have an additional quality that makes me the very best person for the job my passion for excellence 
not just giving lip service to excellence but putting every part of myself for achieving it throughout my school and college days i have tried to excel in all my activities the success which i have attained in curricular and extracurricular activities is the result of possessing the qualities and skills you are looking for in an employee so this is one possible answer for the question why should we hire you now the next question what will you do if you are not selected now this is a very important question because it shows your attitude and how you handle failures so while answering this particular question you have to be positive then you need to tell them that you will work on a area of improvement you will analyze what went wrong and accordingly uh, improve upon it and you can also tell them that you will appear for the campus drive of the next company with more preparation so this is the model answer for it for me failure is not defeat but delay in success i will analyze my performance and try to work on the areas of improvement with a positive attitude i shall try for next company and not give up so such answers will definitely tell the interviewer about your attitude and about your uh, um, personality so we'll go to the next question now which was the most challenging situation in your life now this question also tests your attitude and your fighting spirit in short it is a test of your personality so when you answer this particular question you need to be true while answering the question and you also need to tell them why it was challenging and you you, you need to explain them how did you face it and uh, how did you over, uh, overcome it what did you learn from it is also an important aspect while you answer this particular question so the answer so when you answer you need to make use of these points to respond to this particular question so i would suggest you talk about the most challenging situation you faced in your life and how you faced it and what you learned from it now the next question is why have you chosen engineering as your career now as an engineer it is a very basic question for you so you need to answer it very nicely so you need to focus on what motivated you to opt for engineering or you need to tell them about an incident in your life which made you choose engineering as a career so here's one answer my passion for creativity and reengineering inspired me to opt for engineering so uh, this is one model answer of course uh, you can add your own details into it and uh, make it something different because everyone has a different story to tell the next question why have you opted for computer science engineering or it or why have you opted for electronics engineering or electronics and uh, telecommunication engineering mechanical engineering civil engineering so these are all specific question or related to your branch so you need to be very smart while answering these questions and this particular question is also linked to the previous one that is uh, if given a chance to change your branch which branch would you choose now here there is a trap for you it's better you always stick to the present branch because you need to tell the interviewer that the present branch is a branch of your choice so your answer should highlight that you like the present branch by choice so this is one possible answer if given a chance i will still choose mechanical engineering because mechanics is my passion it is the most versatile branch and since my childhood aircraft and automobile have been my passion so in this way you are telling them the reason for choosing mechanical engineering and it is justified as well so you need to justify your answers the next question is uh, tell me about your hobby now hobby is a sign of a balanced personality 
it works as a stress buster so you should relate your hobby to your career and life now this is one answer my hobbies are very much connected to my life my hobbies are watching war movies and listening songs movies inspire me a lot when i feel low or negative and give new ideas to overcome difficulties and problems songs work as stress busters for me and fill my heart with happiness so in this way you need to tell them that you do have a hobby because if you tell them that you don't have a hobby it means that there is some issue with your personality so having a hobby is a sign of a balanced personality and please correlate your hobby with your life and career which books have you read this is also one more important question and it uh, tells how well read you are so one uh, so there's a saying uh, one who reads is uh, one who leads so one must have interest in reading and uh, reading self help books will definitely do the magic and it will also add value to your personality and it will uh, definitely give you a lot of confidence to face personal interviews and uh, related questions now here is one answer i have read the alchemist by paulo coelho it is a wonderful book which keeps me inspiring time and again the famous line from the book if you desire something earnestly from the bottom of your heart then the entire universe conspires to give you that thing so these lines have inspired me a lot so you can refer to a wonderful book like the alchemist and talk about what really caught your attention what you learned from it and what has inspired you now this question do you have any questions to ask me this is normally the very last question and here you should always be positive and do take initiative to ask certain questions because if you don't ask a question that shows uh, a lack of interest as well so thank the interviewer for this offer and do ask some relevant questions so you can ask questions on work culture training job location night shift etc so here are some possible answers answer number 1 what motivates you to work for this company and answer number 2 is uh, how is the work culture of your company in your opinion so these were some of the frequently asked questions in personal interview and uh, this is the reference for my work thank you very much and i wish you a very happy learning